Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, two days in a row. Yo. You got some stuff from you here. You got a real joyous, wonderful story today. All right, Jonas. Well, I don't think it's any secret that we should always be nice to the people that we like or love in life, right? I would say, to, I would say even the people that we don't love, we probably should be nice to them too. Yeah, but especially the people we love, we should never do horrific and horrible and life-altering, changing things to their life that could cause them dramatic drama or life-threatening illness or... Yeah, I mean... None of that, I right? Mean, in a, yeah, I would say under a normal circumstance, yes. All right, so a little bit of a trigger warning before we get too deep into the this one this has to do with sexual assault so if oh, you're God. not cool with that you know this is your opportunity okay. but this story came across my desk and i felt the need to bring it to the podcast Ooh, oh man I'm, i don't know if i'm ready for this all right so can, do you have to read it can we can we pantomime it i'm not gonna can I pantomime it no i'm not gonna pantomime it i won't use the the, the young lady's name but uh, for years, she had been losing her hair and had been losing weight. She had started forgetting whole days and at some times appeared to be in dreamlike trances. Her children and friends were worried that she might be having Alzheimer's. This is a, I believe she's 51-year-old woman we're talking about, right? Okay. Or no, she wasn't, no, her husband, she was 51 years old. Okay. Yeah, either way. Yeah, 51-year-old woman. But late 2020, after she was summoned to a police station in southern France, she learned a far more shattering story. Her husband of 50 years, his name is Dominique Pellicott, uh, had been crushing sleeping pills into her, her food and drink to put her into a dream sleep. The police said that then he would start essaying her. Um, he also had dozens of men come to the house where they would hold parties where they would all essay her using uh the man and they found photographs and videos on his phone the police were sent uh were sent to the house took him into custody but they also found a 51 more men including mr pellicoat went on trial so he, so he would like, he wouldn't drug her, drug her, but he would like use sleeping pills. So she was like half awake, half not. And then he would have like sexual assault gangbangs essentially is what, what you're saying? Yes. Holy crap, dude. To his wife. Oh. They were in their fifties. It had been over, I guess like over the last 10 years or so. Well, uh, yeah. What, I think you said they were different. married for 50 years, but I don't think that's possible because. Yeah, I know they were, they were 50, but it was over the last like uh, 10 years that it had happened. It was over the last decade that she had been experiencing these changes and her being an older, an older woman. I 50 could, is not an older, I mean, older woman. Yes, but holy crap. It ain't like she was senile. I mean, look, I'm, I, I think about you all the time. I'm like, I think he's coming down with the, you know, <laughs> I mean, I might you know? be insane. No. I'm still functioning, okay? No, I know. But yeah, it's not old. It's not Is that old, how my but... hair's falling out? <laughs> That's alopecia. Oh. Dude. So it was her husband of 50 years. Yeah, they were they were definitely married for 50 years. So 52 men so got sentenced for doing this to this lady. Uh yeah. Yeah. So she uh has divorced her husband uh, since really. You don't, you yeah. don't say. And changed her surname since the arrest. Did her hair grow back? He, he was 71 years old. I apologize. He was 71 years old. Oh, my God. He declared himself guilty of the, pri of the crime. Oh. And uh, I guess he's going to be doing... Uh, he needs to be doing infinite time. I don't care how long they're giving him. Give him twice. Yeah, I well, mean... <laughs> and, well, and, go ahead. And, what? Yeah. It burns my britches when I think of like the idea of like if you are able to achieve a lifelong union with somebody, they have been married for 50 years, man. Well, they have not been married for 50 years because she's only 50 years No, old. she was not 50. They have been married for 50 years. He was 70. All right. I, I, I corrected myself a little. A little oh, so she was 70 as well? Yeah, she was in her 70s. As well. Oh, okay. So okay. So now I 70. see why the hair falling out seemed more normal because she was yeah, 70. 60, okay. she was I thought she 70. was 50. But, oh, yeah. so they got together when they were 20. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. 
See? Wow, dude. And then you de- then you deceive her. Like, what kind of deception has he been doing just for the like, last 50 years? Just like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't, there's nothing that can justify the action. So there's no need to even look into what no, might have been going No, I'm trying to find out why he did it. I mean, I just don't, I don't know if there's any, like, there's nothing to look at into the mind of this madman. He's obviously just insane. Maybe he, never mind. Look, well, he did the crime. The question that I was Golden thinking jail. was like, if he's doing this over the last 10 years and they've been married 50 years, were like things fine and all of a sudden he decided to be a sociopath? Or has he been, well, or, I, I or has he been like abusing her in some way for 50 years? And see, we don't, yeah, I guess we don't know. There might have been other abuses that, that we didn't know about. I, I would gather to say so because. I kind of feel like you don't just like start off with like drugging and graping your wife, your wife, you know, you don't, that's not where you start it's probably off. like emotional, mental abuse over years. And yeah, usually, you know, you crawl before you walk, you don't, this is like a sprint of like crime. <laughs> this is like, right. Right. Yeah. It's no. like federal offense type of crime yeah you, know, you, you, you don't you don't start selling drugs and then all of a sudden you're sending 400 pounds on a ocean liner exactly. across the sea so, um you start out by selling a couple bags here and there so yeah. i don't know man my prayers go out to that woman it, it is it's, it's terrifying out there it, it's it's cool cause i just saw strange darling uh just a little bit ago that movie was so good it was so don't good spoil it. and there's there was a scene in the movie where a young lady is talking to a guy who she's just planning on having the casual encounter with and she just laments to him about how it's so terrifying out here for women who like to enjoy things just as much as men do, whether it be a casual encounter or just like talking to new people. But they all they always have to be so concerned about their safety. And they're like, and she's like, you know, it's life and death out here for, for some women. And it's sad that even though you can be married to somebody and you trust somebody for 50 years of your life and you've put that much time and effort into a relationship that it can still end up poorly for you. In fact, you know, most of the time, if the woman ends up murdered, it's the husband and vice versa. But it's just insane out here, man. So just, just be safe. Just yeah, make it's, better choices. It's wild that, um, Speak to people. Yeah, it's just wild that that would happen. Like, in general, let alone to your wife of 50 years. Like, that's, like, yeah. I couldn't imagine being with someone that long and then, like, obviously he doesn't, he doesn't like, give a crap about her, right? Like, so it's, like, <laughs> how are you with someone that long and just, yeah, I couldn't even imagine what their life was like before, I mean, even before that leading up to all of this or whatever. Yeah, like I said, there's really no excuse for it, so. No. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve one. Hopefully they, they put this, he's 71 years old, man. He's di- I mean, he's going to be in jail till he dies. I mean, he's, he's getting at least 20 years, but you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, I guess it even makes me matter just like, cause in my mom, like, oh, well, he already had his fun, huh? So yeah, now he's just was like, oh, well, forget it. I guess I'll go to prison. Like, I mean, this off that guy. Yeah. I mean, cause it's, I hope he goes to jail and they 51 guys. <laughs> I mean, you no, know how they treat. I don't wish that. I don't wish that. You know how they treat people in prison if you oh. mess with, uh, if you mess with uh, kids or women. I know, man, and especially like this is a, a especially horrific case. But it's like, do you do that because he's a seventy-one year old man? Now you they like, don't that's, care. That's elder abuse. Street justice don't know no bounds, man. He's gonna come in there with the Harvey Weinstein Walker neck brace, man. He's gonna try to ham I mean, it up. Didn't somebody try to stab Harvey Weinstein? I don't know. In prison, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude. Why it's, not? If you out here sa and people, man, I mean, men, women, or kids, people are going to get you. That's one thing people, even criminals are like, nah, you're not. Like, if you're like, hey, man, I robbed a bank, and they're like, yeah, dog, I ripped off a, a corporation with fraud, they're like, high five. If then, if they're like, oh, you diddled the kid, they're like, I'm going to murder you. Yeah. You were, you're not cool with us. Exactly. Like, it's, it's, I mean, I'm glad at least criminals still think that sexual assault is bad morality (laughs) amongst the wicked yeah exactly so anywho man that's awful dude prayers go out to that lady hopefully she can try to have somewhat of a semblance of a regular life moving forward um what she has left because she's already you know in her 70s so hopefully she has a better you know state of life um but makes calamity gammon look like a kitten yeah right uh, that's all time we have for today's episode, though. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.